Abracadabra. We all know them. Uh, they're very famous. We know they are in the witchy world and we think that they're, um, that they're not real, that they're like from this Harry Potter movie, um, Abracadabra. Um, actually, she kind of changed those words in Harry Potter. It's not the actual words. It's Avarda Kadabra. Uh, but the real words are Abracadabra. Now, they are words in, um, uh, in Hebrew and actually in Aramaic. So, <sighs> Abra Kadabra. Evra Kedabra. That means I will create what I speak. These are the literal, this is the literal translation of these words. Abra Kadabra. Um, so they are very, very powerful. And it's more important than ever right now in this time of ascension that we will use our words correctly and that we will use the spells that are coming out of our mouth in a more correct way. Every word we speak is a spell. I've spoke about it before. Now, the spell, the magic that we create, the, the manifestation, the reality we create, comes from the combination of, again, the, femi the feminine and the masculine. So magic, life, is a combination of masculine, feminine, conscious, subconscious. This is magic. I've explained it many times before also in my other videos. When we speak a word, um, the, the actual vocal cords, you know, th this voice that you're hearing right now, that's the conscious. The subconscious is the intention and the feeling I have when I speak these words out. So I can, you know, bless, you know, bless my altar and say, this is a sacred space. Or I can say, this is a sacred space. And I feel it with every part of my being. Like I actually have chills when I speak it. So that is magic. That is a spell. I will create what I speak. Um, so, you know, this is very important, especially, especially in the time of an orgasm, when you're having sex, when you're speaking to your lover um, during sex, it doesn't have to be only the moment of orgasm, but during sex, because you're, uh, you're evoking and you're awakening sexual energy in both of you um, during the whole act. So what kind of words are you using? You know, do you like it? Do you like it when he calls you a slut? Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. This is not about judgment. This is about observing your subconscious mind and observing. Um, this is why I work with people about their sexual fantasies because we, we discover shadows. We discover hidden shadows and things that are actually blocking you from living your full divine potential. So this is not about judgment. This is about awakening. This is about becoming the best version of you, the more awakened version of you, the more conscious version of you. So what kind of words do you like to hear during sex? What kind of words do you speak during sex? Um, be more conscious of it. Be more aware. Um, I had I made a video a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think I, I don't know if I put it on my YouTube, but it's on my Instagram for sure on how to invite and welcome the fifth dimension using sexual energy, using orgasm. This is the best time to do it. I welcome the fifth dimension. This is what I say all day, especially when I'm when I'm orgasming, I welcome the fifth dimension. And I am already, I it took me a couple of days of doing that and I have already ascended to the fifth dimension. You know, I'm still here, but my my the biggest part of me is already ascended. That's why it's it's more easy for me than ever to live on this planet right now. I have never ever I could never live on this planet. It was so difficult for me to be here my whole life. It was a struggle. And now it's a piece of cake. So um, we're not going to go into that right now. I'm just saying um, it's it's a very important time right now. There is an ascension happening around you, whether you like it or not. So using your voice, using the words you speak, inviting the angels, the guides, the mother, uh, invite Lilith, invite Isis to connect you, me, all the sisters, all the brothers, awake us with the, with the wisdom and the love and the knowledge of the mother. These are the words that I speak all day. These are, these are the words I invite you to speak or bring your own words, bring your own spells. Feel it in every part of your body when you speak it. Evra kedabra, avra kedabra, in English terms. Um, so use the power of your voice. Besides the power of our sexual energy, the power of our voices is the most strong as a divine human being. So using them together, using our orgasm and our voices together, 
we can create worlds and this is the time to create a new world this is the time to create the world of the mother we are creating the world of the mother we are creating a world of union and truth and love and freedom and safety to all beings on this planet i love you so much guys i am a servant of the mother and i pray for the awakening of all men women and children on planet earth thank you